When I was 14, I was diagnosed with a rare eye disease called retinitis pigmentosa, which causes blindness. Losing my vision at 14 was so scary as I was already going through lots with preparing for our GCSEs and just the overall stress of the awful school I was in. The darkness literally caved in around me, taking my peripheral vision first before closing it and taking the remainder of my vision, leaving me with only light and shadow perception. This caused me to spiral into depression. I guess a lot of people didn't know how to react, so they weren't nice to me, which added to my mental health issues. I had to go to therapy at least once a week. Both of my moms wanted to move me to a school for blind kids, but that would have involved moving to a different country, and I didn't want to leave. As terrible as my school was, I didn't want to leave my friends, and moving to a different country where I'd be completely alone was such a scary thought, and I didn't want to add to everything I was going through. I eventually won the argument, but I was treated so differently, and I needed to be treated differently because I was blind, but people acted like I was incompetent at everything. I was the first blind kid in my school, so no one really knew how to handle me. When I was first diagnosed, I learned how to read and write braille, yet this wasn't acknowledged and no one let me do anything for myself. I was told I couldn't do music or drama, the options I had chosen for my GCSEs, but I could still do both. In drama, my group were all confident in me and our performances didn't suffer or differ due to my disability. In music, it was frustrating as no one believed I could do music without sight, but I actually came on top of my class with my piano and singing. For every exam and test I had, I had to be sat in a different room with a person who I had to tell my answers to and they would write them down. This was so hard because I would get so nervous and I wouldn't be able to get the words out right. I would never finish a paper. I did get an adorable guide dog called Poppy though, which was when people started paying attention to me more, just because I had Poppy with me. Now I'm 18 and people have started realizing I'm still as capable and strong as I was before. And while I can't do some things that rely on sight, I'm still capable of everything else and I'm still human. My family, friends and girlfriend don't care that I'm blind. They love me as I am, and that's what matters. Just because I've lost my vision, it doesn't mean I'm any less capable than someone with sight, and neither is anyone without eyesight. Oh my god, and we totally jumped off the cliff and had to zoom all the way to shore because the dog chased us all the way to the end. Oh.